Well, March is National Nutrition Month, so this morning on today's checklist, we're going to take a closer look at those nutrition labels and try to help you decode what they actually mean. And to do that, we brought in Vanessa Rosetto. She's a registered dietitian and CEO of Kalina Health. Welcome back. Hi, Good morning. Good to see you guys. Well, let's let's start with serving size. Yeah. Let's start, we'll go we'll get on, go down the whole list because sure. we've all done that thing where we eat like you know an entire bag of chips. <laughs> totally, hundred percent. And like, yeah, what should we be looking for with it, with regard to serving size? So on the top of the label, it's one serving size. So right here, right, a serving size for this item is two thirds cup. And so the package might have eight servings. Right. So you'll see 280 calories, but it's really 280 calories times Times eight, whatever. Right? Oh. right? So it would be 280 calories, like that, those total grams of sugar, right? Mm -hmm. Times yeah. eight and right. so on. So we want to make sure, right? It's not one size fits all, yeah. right? And really be paying attention to what are your needs? What are your goals? What are you looking for? And the serving <laughs> size isn't like what anybody normal would eat. No, not everybody needs 2,500 <laughs> calories a day. Some people need 1,200, 1,500. Some it people need like 3,000. It to be healthy, but it's really not that healthy. I don't know what it is, it's but... really not that healthy, but yeah. we're, it's a good try. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <Sure. That's laughs> we, we can talk through the things to, for us to be looking Let's talk for. about fats. Yeah. Sometimes people don't want them. Remember we went through that whatever decade yeah. it was where people didn't want any fat at all. Yeah. Everything was fat for the 90s. What a good time. So, <laughs> you know, back in high school, we thought that a fat-free food was just like a free yep. food, but yeah. that's not actually the case. Yep. When we take the fat away, we have to give mouthfeel and flavor, so we add sugar. And when we do that, it tells the liver to make calories and store fat. So you're not helping yourself out at all. We're looking for fat. It's less than 10%. Saturated fat comes from animals, right? Unsaturated fat comes from plants. Trans fat is hydrogenated because we want to increase shelf life. That should be zero, less mm -hmm. than one. But not all fat is bad, right? Like think of omega-3 fatty acids. Good for your brain, good for yeah. your heart. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you can have fat. We just want to be paying attention. And we don't need to necessarily say fat-free is bad, too. We can talk about that later. But sometimes fat-free, there is there's a use for side. it. Right, okay. okay. Yeah. Um, carbohydrates, I feel like it's broken down into extra categories. So are there good carbohydrates? Yeah, so like whole grains are good, right? Things okay. that are complex, that have fiber, that slow down digestion, right? You're thinking oats, for example. Mm -hmm. That's a really great um, a whole grain. But then, you know, cookies are also carbohydrates, right? right? <laughs> <laughs> and also fruit has carbohydrates, but fruit also has sugar, but those are natural sugars and it has fiber. So again, we're slowing down digestion and we're getting benefits of the antioxidants, the vitamins and the minerals. So not all carbs are bad. We need okay. them for energy. How we, would you interpret this one? Yeah, so this is like pretty high in carbohydrate for two thirds of a cup. Mm -hmm. It has a decent amount of fiber. I'm usually looking for five grams, okay. but it has 10 grams of added sugar. And yeah. like sugar, you know, for men, we're looking for 36 grams and for women, 25 grams. So that's like per, day. per day, 150 mm -hmm. calories versus 100 calories. So it's not really ideal. We're not, we don't want that. All right. Okay. So when it comes to the ingredients, I mean, it, you can take a, a minute or two reading the whole thing. Yeah. Less is better, I'm guessing. Yeah, less is better. Right. And so and we're always looking, you know, whole grain. So there's mostly whole grains here. Mm -hmm. Right. That's why the carbohydrate content is so high. And so that should be great. But then what's the next one? It's corn, corn syrup. syrup. Corn syrup. And, corn syrup. Syrup. and, and sugar. sugar. Yeah. Yeah. And, honey, then, and there's honey and, and then we have like this vegetable glycerin so there's a lot here yeah. but you know where can we get things that are less processed right like we're just looking for like the least amount of ingredients just because something's gluten-free for example doesn't mean it's yeah. not overly processed oh, no. it, it has a very, very long ingredient you. list um so yeah the shorter the better and also if you think about it right like you can get shorter things, shorter ingredient list things from anywhere, yeah. right? You don't have, it doesn't have to be all organic. Like you can go to a bodega and still get a banana and nuts, yeah. mm -hmm. right? That's not That's processed. True. So like, it's not this elitist thing. It doesn't have to be organic. We can work with what you have. Let's really yeah. quickly, Vanessa, talk about some red flags we should be looking out for on the nutrition label, some of these complicated words. Yeah, so not all the words are, you know, the complicated words are not always bad. Maltodextrin is still a carbohydrate. It's just not the best carbohydrate. Mm -hmm. Partial, partially hydrogenated oils, that's to increase the shelf life. We don't really want that. And then back to the low diet reduced, right? Yeah. I use fat-free yogurt because I use it as a vehicle for all the delicious things. Like mm -hmm. I'll have a plain yogurt and put Nutella. Right. You're welcome, America. Try that. It's a very good snack. <laughs> that's for, okay, right? That's it's okay. Fat, it's made yeah. with the right type of That's right. And maybe you're free. trying to save calories because it's weight management or maybe mm. you don't like the texture of a full fat yogurt. So right. there are places where it could work. So you just got to figure out what's personalized to you and what can work okay. for you. I'm over here. Wait, fat-free yogurt and Nutella? Yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Girl. Because a little right. Nutella goes a long way. It's a pudding. It's so delicious. I'm you start eating that and send me a note. You're gonna you be like, know, this oh, right. okay. she says, "Girl." Yeah. I mean, listen, <laughs> that's and I'm like, okay. Yeah, do it, do Vanessa, it, do it, do it. Nice to see you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.